A very serious, dangerous escalation has just unfolded in Ukraine, and it will only get worse from here as we have a war on our hands. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. This is Lukadowski here of WeAreChange.org. And we have a lot of very important and serious news to get into as the United States and UK are threatening an action which Russia has announced that they will see as an act of war. The situation is getting very serious. There's a lot of other things to talk about, especially when it comes to energy policy and the ever complex complex situation with China that has now allegedly scrambled jets near the Taiwan area. A lot of things to seriously talk about in this video on this independent media broadcast, and uh, we're just going to jump right into it. And let's be honest, there's a lot of absolutely bad takes, especially by the corporate media that's trying to incentivize a full-scale war or to sell you some Applebee's, as perfectly represented by the coverage from CNN just moments ago. Yeah, I'm sure Applebee's is really uh, happy and proud of their ad placement. CNN also just recently accidentally learned about the importance of the Second Amendment in the United States as they're calling for the people of Ukraine to take up arms against Russians as some media personalities are using this situation to race bait like Cenk Uger that just tweeted throughout this entire crazy, insane situation that, quote, right-wingers love Putin because he's a white authoritarian leader and race that allegedly has more importance to right-wingers than nationality, that he's a white overlord. Again, absolute crazy unhinged rants. There's a lot of insanity. There's a lot of bad takes and expect more of those, especially during very intense emotional times that we're going through right now. But let's just stick to the facts here. As of course, hours ago, the president of Russia released a video declaring a military action inside of Ukraine that would demilitarize the country. In this media broadcast, he also announced that he's doing this in order to combat right-wing extremist groups inside of Ukraine. And he launched more than just a military operation as, of course, a full-scale invasion of Ukraine is happening right now as the Russian military has significantly outgunned and outmanned the military of Ukraine, which is a significant underdog here, and has essentially implemented an insurgency-style campaign in order to fight the Russians, which is promising to be an absolute messy situation. And late last night, all the airspace has been cleared near Ukraine and Russian military mortars and shells started raining down on Ukraine at approximately 3.30 in the morning. As of course, massive amounts of trucks, tanks, and military hardware has entered from Belarus, Crimea, Eastern Russia, even parts of Western Ukraine, paratroopers flying in as the conflict has officially begun, signaling, of course, some very troubling signs ahead. Now, before getting into other potential escalations, China energy policy, I'm going to be doing another video later on today as of course there's so much that I specifically want to say about this topic that I can't hear on this broadcast but I will be saying it later on today on LukeUncensored.com as this video is going to be continuing there I hope to see you there later on today if you haven't signed up yet click the link down in the description below to find out more now being someone who is very staunchly anti-war we have to call out this current situation for what it is and it is an insanely aggressive and dangerous move made by Russia that not only endangers the people of Ukraine Ukraine, but the people of the world, and also the financial security of international markets that, of course, are going to be devastated by this news, especially when it comes to the energy sectors that are absolutely skyrocketing right now. And that is not the only issue we have to worry about as we're getting news reports right now of Russian troops fighting Ukrainian troops near Chernobyl, with some people speculating and fearing that this might lead to some kind of possible radiation exposure in Europe. Europe. This situation is moving very fast and could intervene any countries at any moment, as of course bombs just hit a Turkey ship in the Black Sea. As we know, Turkey is a part of NATO, and we have to understand very rapidly this situation could become far more disastrous than it already is. Right now, the fighting looks like it's unfolding almost 
everywhere in Ukraine, and we could only hope that it is contained there and de-escalates, but the likelihood of that happening now is, is rare. Especially with some in the United States, even the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom pushing for Russia to be injected out of the swift financial system, something of course that Biden even hinted at doing himself. This would essentially get rid of Russia from the global banking system, which Russia has stated, if is done, will be a declaration of war against it, signaling a very serious threat by Russia against the West. Those are not the only threats by Putin, as he also said to anyone who would, quote, consider interfering from the outside, quote, if you do, you will face consequences greater than any you have faced in history. This, as NATO has just ordered its commanders to prepare to defend allied territory inside of Europe, as some people are speculating and fearing that Russia will continue to invade past further than just Ukraine. Obviously, those are speculations, and I haven't seen any kind of evidence suggesting this to be true. But hundreds of warships and warplanes have been put on alert. Troop numbers have been increased on the eastern flank, and to say that the situation is tumultuous is definitely an understatement. Another thing to worry about here domestically was the recent purging of ranks inside of the U.S. military that literally saw members of the U.S. Armed Forces is being kicked out because they didn't take a medical procedure that, of course, was heavily politicized. There's also the recent refocusing of the U.S. military command to be more woke, to be more inclined towards emotions and feelings, which has left a lot of people wondering what in the world is going on here, which, of course, this is the opposite approach of what Russia and China is doing. Now, what was the response from the U.S. command as soon as everything was happening? Well, Joe Biden released a a letter and clarifying that he was going to speak about the situation more than 12 hours from when it happened, when of course the previous president was already on the national news lambasting and attacking him for, for of course his inaction on the situation. As of course previous President Donald Trump declared that this would have not happened during his presidency and the optics of, of the current president only releasing a letter while the previous president mocks and attacks him on national television is not really Really good optics to say the least for the United States. You add this with failed American energy policy under the Biden administration that dropped the Keystone pipeline, dropped expanding domestic drilling, dropped fracking, dropped the production of nuclear energy, and now with the price of energy going up dramatically, teetering the financial markets on the brink of collapse, we should start asking ourselves what in the world is happening here as of course energy markets have skyrocketed and will only continue to skyrocket skyrocket from here as of course there's going to be less abundance of it which means it's going to be costing a lot more for everyday items that we depend on that usually get shipped which will only exacerbate the existing supply chain shortages which are only meant to get worse here and those are only the financial ramifications which are bound to be affecting your life very shortly not just at the gas pump when you're pumping fuel for your car. That is one policy that the United States has failed when it comes to preparing for all of this, as well as their failed policies that we have been warning about for a very long time, and that is specifically implementing a foreign policy which has been bringing China and Russia closer together. This, as of course moments ago, we are finding out that Taiwan has been warning about Chinese fighter jets which have been intruding into their airspace as many people people fear China will be using this situation in order to invade Taiwan. The likelihood of that happening geopolitically is high as of course China has been backing Russia in many important geopolitical situations throughout the last few years when it came to going against the West and the United States, especially with some of the West's failed policies which have only brought Russia and China closer together and haven't geopolitically helped the United States at all. Policies that, of course, we were extremely critical of. And now we have a legitimate situation that is a real threat 
to the United States, as even the situation in Ukraine is very complex between all of these nations, as Ukraine is a major trading partner with China, they have good relationships with each other, and this is a far more complex situation than a lot of people would like to admit. But these warning signs outside of Taiwan are extremely worrying and signal for a larger conflict that might potentially unfold very soon. There, there's a number of policies that the United States should have been implementing within the last few years. They haven't. In 1997, Madeleine Albright instituted a policy in the United States that sought the expansion of NATO into Eastern and Central Europe, which according to Madeleine Albright was essential to preventing the next war. And that foreign policy, which has been continued since 1997, has led to this disastrous situation, which could have been handled totally different. Now, of course, it's easy to, to criticize from here. This is not an easy situation. This is a dangerous situation. There is a possibility for this conflict to expand, to grow, to get other countries involved. And if that happens, the consequences are absolutely dire. And we can only hope and pray that things de-escalate from here. There's a, a lot of crazy videos and photos that I can't show you here that I will be showing on LukeUncensored.com, as well as talking about some of the latest scuttlebutt and personal preparations that I'm making myself. The people of Ukraine are going through an extremely difficult and turbulent time and we should pray and hope that the situation de-escalates and becomes more peaceful and that war stops but it doesn't mean you should look away from the reality of the situation which is absolutely an entire mess of a situation that sadly from here will only get a lot messier this is a very difficult situation this is not an easy situation expect it to get a lot complicated if you have friends or loved ones in the region like i do i, I hope you guys are staying safe i'm going to be following this story very closely as soon as more developments come i might be just doing more videos more updates i got one more video coming your way on lukeuncensored.com i wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you and this is why i love you guys thank you so much for watching and being a part of this independent media broadcast.